Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Block Tech Tips. And of course guys, today I'm going to show you how to disassemble this HP 14CK0018LA. And of course this will be also work for any similar devices from HP that has a very similar setup or model number. Alright, so first of all flip over your device, you'll find a rubber grommet on the base. Simply remove it, it looks just like this. It's added with an adhesive strip. This is what it looks like before it's removed. There are two of them. I want you to remove um, both. So you're just going to strip that off. Do not worry, it can be sticked on later. And then you're simply going to uh, remove the screws beneath them. Get a credit card or a ID, a old one. And of course, once all these screws are removed on the back, you're just going to do as seen here. You're going to run it along these edges. What it should do is it should remove the clips. These clips are snapped into place and you're going to do this all around. Once you do that, the entire device should open up. All right, guys. So let me just show you here. Do forgive me as I'm doing all of this with one hand. Also get it between uh, the section at the top here. And of course, as you can see here, guys, the part I'm talking about right here is this section here. Have to remove the extra strip. And of course, as I said, make sure that you get it between this section up here as well. There are some clips right along here that needs to be removed as soon as all screws are removed. So there is a total of six screws on the back. And again, remember, only do this with your um, ID or credit card, all ones, after you have successfully removed the screws. Make sure you run it along. You should hear the clips opening up. Sometimes you'll have to nudge it as I just showed a while ago by wiggling it on the areas here. It should start stopping apart, going all the way around. Be very gentle, never rip anything apart. Simply take your time to cause separation as shown here. Notice I've done this successfully. You can see some of the clip areas right there and you can see the separation. Once you have done proper separation like this, it should start lifting all the way around. And then of course, once you have enough separation, you can take your time to separate both halves. If you notice resistance at all, Make sure you stop and here are the screw areas there's one here one here and one here that's three on one side and on the other side remember to remove this strip as shown here there's also a exposed screw area at the top there and one over here and the last one is hidden beneath the strip at the back here i have partially removed it which is this strip and of course once you expose this channel right here you should see the screw and of course these screws are just some um, silver screws I'll show you those in a minute. So make sure you get this adhesive strip off. Take your time as it might um, snap, but do not throw it away as it can be sticked on later on. Notice the single screw here, right here into the center. That's another one of the hidden ones. So in case you're trying to disassemble this device, you might only see two screws at the top there. But of course, the another three or so or four are hidden beneath those plastic or rubbery feet. And you just simply need to remove them before removing these screws. And that's the main trick getting this HP 14 to disassemble. And of course, I'm removing the last screw right here. Take your time. And of course, let's unscrew each. Once all six screws have been removed, as seen here, I have all six removed. And I have the rubber grommets removed as well, which were hidden. And there they go. And I'm just pointing them out right now. Near, near and here so in total six all right once you do that you'll use your card and then slide it along the reverse edge which is the top by turning it back over and it should open and as you see here it should be effortless once you do that the back will simply snap off um do not yank it off as sometimes there are connections between both points on this hp however everything is to one side and here are the internal components um, we have the battery, we have the hard drive, the RAM, the Wi-Fi card and everything. And let me just um, allow you to overview of everything. And this is all that makes up your laptop. A little bit simple, but of course, each component in here is very necessary. And from here, as a part of this assembly, you can do your repairs. I could change the battery easily. I could change the RAM. I could change the hard drive. I could remove the... Um, AC power outlet, so as you see there, that's the battery, then the hard drive, here's the RAM, alright, here's the AC outlet, and of course you can see the USBs, HDMI over there on one side, and of course you can see them more clearly here, 
and of course everything is connected to the main board the main board can be changed in case it's damaged you can change out the ram you can change out the batteries and so on it's quite easy once you have reached this far um, all you gotta do is just unscrew the tether screws that holds each component in place and carefully remove them for example you can see here with the ram they snapped into place simply hold both clips this is just one side at both ends and simply um, separate and it will pop right up and then you can remove the ram again forgive me i'm doing this with one or single hand so it's kind of difficult to show everything effectively so sometimes i have to pause the video and do something and then show you after so you can see here this is the ram in case you're having booting issues such as the device um, shows lights but doesn't power up or nothing is shown on display you can remove the ram as you can see there's only one in some devices there are two um again i'm just going to remove this just to show you you can snap it back into place when you're finished uh over here again you can see the battery now the battery is held down by a total of about um five to six screws you can see them and i've removed them after you do that now simply you're gonna yank up yanking means i don't mean one um, aggressive motion but slowly you're gonna lift up i'm just trying to set this back into place to show you so you simply pop and lift up. notice it slides into place and of course there's um the screws that holds it in place and a main latch that's um it slides beneath but of course contact is easy to remove that i've also removed the wi-fi card as you just saw that's a small card i'll show you later on it was a single screw and i clip on that was removed um again you can see right here the general area you can see the main boards to get to other components sometimes you have to remove others such as the wi-fi card that fits right there and so on before you can get to the main components that's located beneath such as the sections that make up the motherboard that are connected by various um, clips and ribbon cables all right guys so as you can see you can take it all in um, after this it's quite easy to remove anything the battery is right here we can place it back in as well it's quite easy all i have to do is just slide it back into the section and then place it down then i have to screw it back into place there's also this slight cradle do remember guys in case you can't remember where what belongs simply snap a picture of the overview of the board before you remove anything so later on in case you don't remember what goes where you can simply um, refer back to your pictures and it can be easily done with your smartphone especially if you have any modern smartphone the resolution is high enough you can pinch and zoom and see I remember what belongs where as um if you don't do these often enough you might forget something or forget where you actually got it from and here's the battery so you can replace this with a new one if you wanted to or if you're having issues where your device is not starting up one of the things you can do to help out is to actually remove or disconnect the battery for a while you can even hold on the power button allows the device to drain and then of course slide it back into place quite easily and of course, it's one of the things I love about these. All right, so I've slide mine um, back into place. Notice it's simply placed and then uh, put back down firmly by pressing down. It will slide into its power holder right there that I'm pressing along here. And all I have to do after this is simply um, add these screws once more. Once the screws are placed, um, are put back into place, they should be quite easy to um, secure. So I'll have to do screw these back in. I'll have to do this off camera. And here we go. Notice I've placed in back all these screws. Again, I um in case you forget where screws belong, simply refer to your um diagram or picture that you took from earlier. Here's the Wi-Fi card, it's easy. All I did was slide it um slide it back in and then of course press it down and then I'm just gonna use this screw that was removed right at the tip there and simply screw it back into place and then I'm gonna add the clip once more. Again, too, to replace the memory, it's quite easy. All I gotta do again is just slide it in. And then press down and there you go it snaps into place to remove it simply touch both clips or separate both clips and it should um, pop back up easy to change likewise with the hard drive i don't think i have to show that as well i can simply just remove the screws and disconnect and remove and of course once everything is back into place guys you can simply snap the back on make sure it's oriented properly and you didn't put it in the wrong direction as often um, is the case sometimes and of course once it's back on the back cover you can simply snap it back into place and then replace all six screws that were removed and also replace the rubber grommets that were on the back and of course um, it's quite easy 
um, you can use this as a reference or a clue as to how to get it open um, once you get over the six screws you should be good from there all right guys we're gonna from blog tech tips as usual saying bye until next time thank you for tuning in bye